Hey guys, Buck and yes, I am getting a video uploaded. You're going, oh my gosh, it's been so many been a few weeks. And yes, I know it's been a few weeks. Um just helped my daughter get ready and then this last week um on Tuesday went to Fargo, she finished with maps and she left for Fort Leonard Wood on Tuesday. And uh so she's off starting basic training in her life, so yeah, so it's been a little crazy and a little hectic and a little sad, but I'm happy for her. So with that, um, I did try to do some work over the last couple of weeks, few weeks, and so you're going to see some sporadic videos. I mean, they're all going to be somewhat of an order, but you'll, you'll see what I'm saying because I'll say Monday here and Wednesday here and then Monday again, I don't know, um, pretty much. But getting closer on getting um, more stuff done with the the build up for the Sherman and the half track and then um, gonna get that finished for my friend and get started on my next project which I already have in mind and I will share that when I'm ready to do that um, I don't want to jump ahead because sometimes with us builders we start thinking about our next project and we just really want to get into it so I've gotten it out of the way and I know what I want to do but I am keeping it out of touch right now but with that guys um, if you're new to my channel, please click on the link and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll know every time I do upload a video. Like I said, I'm hoping now to start getting back to at least getting up every week um, with everything kind of starting to slow down now a little bit. Um, so we're getting back to it. I'm getting back to it and I hope you guys will enjoy that. So with that guys, I'm going to shut up and let's get to the bench. Welcome back guys. It is Tuesday in the afternoon. Had to go on some errands, but it's been a really crazy um, last couple of weeks with my daughter, daughter graduating and then getting her ready to head out to basic training. So I only got an hour or two here every couple of days or something, but I did get stuff done and I wanted to show you. Um, let's go ahead and start with the Sherman. So I did get everything done on the Sherman and as you can see I even did these nice little tools. Uh, I got a bit of weathering done on it, as you can tell, um, but it's not done yet because I want to get some more done and then when I start getting ready for the diorama, but she did turn out pretty good. And then let me show you, um, I had started weathering on the tracks and to be able to do that, I found something really, really cool and it is from Vallejo. It's ground texture. It's ground texture acrylic and this is snow. Now this stuff is really good because you can brush it on, you can mount it on, and then you can let it either dry or once you got in the spot you want to go with and you want to add a little dirt, a little dust, a little debris, um, so you can use your paints and kind of mix that in and as you're mixing it in you can place it on the where you want on the diorama or put it down just straight white, let it dry and then you go through an airbrush or, or paintbrush with it. But yeah, so I got that. So. With the Sherman, being able to finish that, I also started on the fun parts. See if I can zoom this in for you guys. Here we go. On the weapons and the helmets. So I did do some weathering on them, but they're not all the way done yet. But these, sorry, let me see if I can get that to focus. I actually hand painted each weapon. Um, and... It was, it was fun. It was a pain. I was able to do some spray painting with my airbrush, but for the weapons, I, I, I hand painted all these. And to do that, I would suggest you guys, if you want to get started on doing that, grab one of these little fine tip brushes. They're awesome for detail work. But yeah, so um, got that. I haven't started working on the soldiers yet because I wanted to get something else done. And I still have some stuff to fix for on top of the tank. Um, the tracks, the extra treads and all that but that's either here or there I was wanting to get some of the really crazy stuff but um, let me zoom out again uh, so I even haven't got the, the half track done now I've done some weathering on it but I didn't weather the tracks um, as you can tell on it because putting these on were a real pain in the behind but I got it done I, like I said I've done some pre-weathering on a lot of this and um, now it's just ready to get that um, late winter look a little bit of snow a little bit of frost and um, I was sorry about the phone I was thinking about doing an actual um, brush paint on some of them but um, 
I really like how this turned out and it was toward the end of the war so they're grabbing whatever they have so yeah I just kept it where it was and did get the tools done just the same did the little tools and everything and I actually decided to glue these on glue these open um, because when I actually fed the piece and had it shut they they just didn't match up well but I will tell you um, let's see if I can get you in to see that a bit let's see here so yes the insides all done up and detailed too and ready to go and weathered so I gotta reapply a little bit of glue onto that door but we're going so the next part that I'm gonna work on and guys with this little stuff it's it's there's so much you'll not see when we do it so I'm just gonna share with you when I get it done but um, one thing I will tell you um, research the uniforms of World War II research movies you can watch those because the detail the colors that to me it gives are good but they just don't feel right so um, I'm gonna do some things that I think is gonna make it more authentic and that's what I do but what you want to do is you want to get everything separate so like um, here the, the bayonets and the binoculars and the P90 machine gun is you want to keep those separate because those are all going to be black fill grays um, gun or gun metal with wood and then um, gray for the helmets and stuff so I'm going to get working on those guys but I want to show you sorry I haven't been on going kind of crazy with my daughter getting ready to leave and the weird thing with graduation but I wanted to show you what I did get done so with that guys I'm going to get back to work and I'll see you when I get more done well welcome back to the bench and it is Thursday June 11th and it's been crazy but I have um, things pretty well done and hopefully I can get get back to working on this a little bit more what you're seeing is I have because I've gotten the vehicles done I haven't done the soldiers or anything yet but I've gotten all the accessories to them done I am prepping up the diorama base I'm doing so um, and then I'm doing a layout and I suggest you guys if you decide to do a, a, a diorama like I like I'm doing definitely do a layout get a good idea of how you want things to go and um, and go with so um, I did buy um, let me see Tamiya's barricade set so I got you know the fence um, the post to do the wiring and all that uh, I did the base is on plywood I um, used uh, sculpting clay to try to create a little bit of the barrier on the cobblestone and this was my first time doing cobblestone so um, I really like doing it. It turned out really well. I did pretty much a stone and I did different colors. I um, started with black to create appreciating and then I went with a sky gray to a darker gray to even a darker and I, I did the sky gray and then a medium gray. I sprayed all that after I got the black had dried and then I did brushing. So I brushed it with um, German gray to help create a little bit more definition on the stone and then um, uh, let me see uh, red brown to help give a little bit more highlight and then white so that's that and um, so I'm very happy with it and it's you, you see a lot but remember um, there's going to be quite a bit to this and I'll show you guys as I keep going so now what I'm going to do is like I said I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to lay this out and uh, keep working on it so I'll talk to you guys in a bit as soon as I get this part figured out. All right. All right, guys. Well, I've got the um, metal barricades painted, and now I'm giving a gloss coat so I can wear them a little bit. But the next thing I want to do is show you this. So, because um, I'm doing a, a, a mountain battle scene, there's going to be bricks and stuff everywhere. So, I would suggest you can get this brick wall set. You can do whatever you want with it. But what I'm doing is I want to create some of those loose bricks. So um, I started 
separating them. And I'll do other damage with the bricks. I'm not going to do all. But you'll get pieces in this kit, in this set, like this. And what you want to do is if you don't already have a, a scriber, um, this is a Tamiya plastic scriber 2 blade. It's awesome because it helps redo lines and stuff. But I also use it to create some pieces that I need. So all I'm doing is I scribe the plastic between the bricks like so and you want to go on both sides and just go through it and be careful because this will cut the crap out of you. I've done it before to myself um, and you want to keep rotating um, this is some pretty um, well made plastic or molding so uh, just kind of keep going and as you get closer it definitely starts getting a little more tough because the lines are starting to wedge or pinch together the scribe lines you're making um, and like I said don't worry about it because this is all battle damage so nothing ever looks great after a bomb or shell has gone off or you know near a building or to a building so so as you can see now it's starting to split so I'll take my exacto knife and just like you know just put a little pressure and just kind of rock back and forth because that plastic is still thick so now that's separated so the great thing is once you've actually got it separated again and now you just shave the plastic so it does like that so there's that piece and then you don't have to cut these individual pieces out you can just snap just like that just like so guys so I'm gonna keep working on this and then I will show you what's next when I get when I uh, finish weathering the barricades and stuff and um, get started on getting things set onto the diorama because I want to get a lot of the the damage and extra pieces on there and then um, so I it's set and ready to go and then I'll just finish up the figures which shouldn't take me more than a day or two but you know how it is so I'm gonna get back to this scribing making little bricks and when we come back we'll see what I got done so see you in a bit guys hey guys welcome back and yes it is Friday and I'm going to get going on the video here in a minute to get at least get something up for you guys. But I wanted to show you um, the bricks that I was working on and how I came up with the brick color. Um, I'm, right now I'm just using a uh, Tamiya wash to, uh, so Tamiya gray wash to help age them up a little bit. But, um, so let me show you. So... Um, I did do to me a primer on that and then I took flat red uh, flat black and mixed it together um, I, I really couldn't tell you the the uh, ratios because I just I, I go by sight and um, but I mixed it together and got this nice um, brick color uh let me get it up here so it's because of that damn but yeah so it's a really nice brick color and i'm going to finish doing this and then i got something else to show you so i'll be right back guys all right guys um just got the vehicles placed for now and working on doing some layout but what i did do is i got the sandbags down and i'm kind of rethinking i'm not going to actually do the metal barricades um with this being um, where it's at I'm gonna actually um, I decided I got this Constantino wire and I when I when I get this done I'll be able to show you but I found it on Etsy and it comes from um, somebody in the UK um, Thomas Hockney I found it on like I said Etsy and it's model barbed wire six feet 30 feet um, so if you guys are looking for a good wire um let me see if i can get you a piece of the parts that i snipped so let's get it up there 
so there you go guys and um, it's really good stuff good quality and so I've got that glued down I've got the sandbags glued down um, and then I'm, I'm getting other stuff down onto this so I can at least start getting this weathered up and done right before I get more of the before I put more of the figures get the figures done and get in because I need to do a little bit of winter effect do a little bit of rubble effect and all that but um, I'm adding you know I'm doing the brick I got loose brick I got uh, I have some media medium gray rock uh, so it's gonna look like bone concrete everything else and then I do have um, some medium brown ballast which is going to help create that dirty look that I'm going for um, so we'll see how that works out but yeah so um, I know I've been you know I've been working on this a while so um, getting close guys so I'm going to finish um, getting this down and keep going on it but yeah I just wanted to show you guys um, where I'm at and then do apologize for not putting up videos for the last few weeks, but you know why, with my daughter um, leaving and everything going on. But here you go. Here's the sneak, well, the finishing of my week. I'm going to keep working on this, but I'm going to I'm gonna get this video up so I can get you something, guys. And then we'll get back to regular, regularly scheduled BTM videos uh, starting next week. So, um... Let me get going on this and get this video up for you guys. So with that, have a great weekend. Have an awesome next week. And I'll see you next week on the bench. Alright guys, I know I just said have a great weekend. And I was going to get everything going. and then, But I decided I wanted to really show you what I got done before we get started next week. Um, so I got the base finished. And this is what I wanted to end the week with you guys for. So. Yes, I still have to do some more weathering and a little bit of winterization that I'm going to do to it. But, and then yes, I still have to take care of the painting on that. But, here you go guys. This is the base. It's going to have the Sherman and the half track and the, the troops when I get them painted. And yes, like I said, there is going to be some snow and stuff on that. But, now I will say, have a good rest of your weekend. And have a great week, and I'll see you next week on the bench.